It's a subject that's talked about in the gym, in the office, with your doctor, and every time a group of girls get together. We're talking fats, and more importantly, the good fats and the bad fats, and which ones are which, and why is that so? You'll be surprised to know the real facts. Today, Georgia from Stirring Change lets us in on the good, the bad, and reveals some truths you just might not have known. Georgia, as a female, and as a female who likes to look good and feel good, there were many years where I was listening to all of that information that was coming out about fats. Should you eat them? Shouldn't you eat them? Are they bad for you? Um, are they going to make you fat? Is this information that's really that important? Absolutely not. So we've been, we've been misled and it's, it is very hard to undo programming. Well, we've been brought up in the 80s and um, for quite a few decades we've had misinformation floating around and really at the hands of the, the regulatory bodies that are in charge of this information, they've based that on research which was not quite as um, efficient as, as it could be with, with rooting out the, the truth. So why have we been told this then? Why have we been told that fats are so bad for us? So it started in the 50s and 60s with a gentleman named Ansel Keys and he did some research that happened to come to the conclusion that fat was correlated with heart disease and industry got behind this, um, sort of jumped on this bandwagon and it became the popular theory of the day. And unfortunately, some of the studies that he did have been disproven now, um, but the, the truth is still lingering around and we haven't been able to, to shake that. So polyunsaturated and saturated fats, tell us about those. Okay, so polyunsaturated oils come from um, vegetables, mostly plant sources, and they're often refined. So we see things like canola oil, corn oil, you know, safflower, sunflower, all the vegetable oils that we see in the supermarket are actually polyunsaturated. And unfortunately, they're so highly refined, by the time we pick them off the shelf, it's actually not even really a food. Mm -hmm. So saturated fats are, are things like butter, even lard. These are, these are foods that our grandparents ate. They used to eat bread and dripping. So that was, that was actually a meal for them. We wouldn't think about doing that, but it might actually be healthier than the, the fats that we've been eating for the last few decades. And um, there's a fantastic cardiologist. His name is uh, Dwight Lundell, and he's performed about 5,000 open heart surgeries in his day. So he's seen arteries from the inside, and he's sort of, he's come out saying that Basically, we've been wrong, um, and he admits to being one of the opinion makers of the day, um, doing what he does. And he's now saying that polyunsaturated oils and other sort of inflammatory agents are the problem. And what our body does is takes cholesterol, which is not necessarily a bad thing in itself. We need cholesterol, but cholesterol comes along and patches up the damage to the arteries, and that's why we think cholesterol is the bad guy. But it's actually just there as a band aid. The real problem is what is causing the inflammation in the first place. So he's saying saturated fats are our, are our best choice, actually. Okay, then, so which fats are the healthiest? Well, contrary to popular belief, saturated fats are probably the most stable fats, um, and they do have a lot of benefit. They're the fats that we've been eating for millions of years. Traditional cultures ate about 30 to 80 percent of their diet was fat which is much much more than we're eating today and they were healthy and most of their fat content came from saturated fats so we've been told for decades now that polyunsaturated fats are actually the healthiest but that's again being disproven with with current research and what other types of fats then should we include in our diet okay so a balance of of healthy fats and the number one fat that we should be avoiding, of course, is trans fats. And so that comes in things like processed foods, takeaway foods, um, also margarines. Choose butter over margarine, that's my one big piece of advice on this issue. But things like avocados, coconuts, nuts and seeds, foods that are close to nature are our best sorts of fats. The problem is really the, more the refining process. Um, so if we can choose fruits and vegetables that contain a lot of natural fat, that's a really healthy source of fat. Okay, so then which fats should we be just completely avoiding? So the, the most dangerous ones are the ones that have been processed 
the most and refined the most and unfortunately whenever we go out to Chinese or Thai takeaway a lot of the oils that they use in these takeaway foods are possibly genetically modified a lot of the soy oil coming from America is genetically modified um, and also highly refined they're already completely rancid by the time they use them and then they fry them at very high temperatures and unfortunately polyunsaturated oils are the least stable and they need to be kept at a low temperature. So the most important ones to stay clear of are trans fats found in margarines and also fried foods that we buy from places that may not be using the quality of the oil that we would like. Okay, now avocados and coconuts, they're my two favorite fruits and I eat them all the time and everyone looks at me with a really funny look like as if to say, you seriously eating that? Do you know how bad they are for you? But you mentioned them before, so tell me, are they bad or are they good for us? They're fantastic. I don't even think we should limit those. I think you can eat those to your heart's content, literally. So avocados are one of my favourite types of fat. They're, they're natural, they're unprocessed, first of all, and that's important. They're also a raw fat. So whenever we heat oils, we tend to change their structure a little bit. So when we're eating raw fats, that's, that's really a healthy way to do it. So avocados have been shown to increase nutrient absorption. There were studies done where groups ate a salad with and without avocado, and the ones with avocado absorbed five times the amount of nutrients that the ones that didn't have the avocado on their salad did. So we've got to be very careful about the way we think about fats. It's healthy to incorporate them in the diet, and avocados have actually been shown to protect against vision loss. They have the highest amount of lutein, which is a carotenoid found in all, all fruits. And so they're a wonderful choice. Okay, and what about those coconuts? The coconuts are fantastic. They are um, a saturated fat, but they're a medium chain fatty acid. And what that means is that the body can actually break that down and digest it far quicker than the longer chain fatty acids that we find in animal fats. And so it's actually a fantastic clean energy source for the body. We actually burn that off faster than a carbohydrate, which is really unusual for fat. So it's one of my favorite choices and it's fantastic for um, immune boosting properties as well. It's got lauric acid, which is found in breast milk as a, a, a nutrient and caprylic acid. And it's also fantastic for boosting the metabolism. So it's ironic that we're so scared of saturated fats, particularly coconut. They use it now in weight loss programs to actually rev up our metabolism so that we burn things faster. So it's a fantastic choice, I love it. Thank you, Georgia. It's been a very big eye opener, very informational, and it means I can keep eating my avocados and coconuts. Absolutely, it's been a pleasure, thank you. Well, how'd you go? Did you learn something new? I certainly learnt a lot from talking to Georgia, but what I'm most happy about, of course, is that uh, I don't have to feel guilty anymore about having my favourite coconuts. For more information or to watch other episodes of Total Vitality, please visit our website. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you can join us again next time. See you then.